It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals. Next on Madden NFL 25. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started and this one is underway here on EA Sports and he'll be stopped up at the 25 so the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here and it's the rookie Jaden Daniels the number two overall pick leading the way and he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special a dual threat athlete the quarterback position Beats you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Once more, here's Eckler. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Able to power through. And this is going to be a commander's first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels, and picking up some nice yardage. Got a man. It's Diaby Brown complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. He's got Brown on the out route complete, and he's going to be touched down here. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Here's Daniels. And his throw is incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play action, now it's Daniels. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. 
I give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Well, they go play action. Daniels. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. They'll come up now, third and nine. Throwing now is Daniels. Buying time to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jaden Daniels, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive and a 9-yard run on the end of it. Following the touchdown, here's Cyber now to kick it off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 right at the 30. First carry for James Conner. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Murray now to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. 
Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. It's Eckler again. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And the commanders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains, Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Eckler. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef, that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. 
Now Daniels. This is caught. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Seibert able to knock this one through. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Here's Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one goes for 24 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's Murray from midfield. Going right back to Wilson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. His throw incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. It looked like almost some miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Pass complete there to Harrison. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. To throw is Murray. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harrison. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown. Arizona, Marvin Harrison Jr., 26 yards. And the Cards have cut it back within a score. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. Seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath, short pass like that. But boy, it gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it to distance. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. 
So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Off the play fake, Daniels. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Eckler now between the tackles. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And the slot man goes in motion left. Daniels looking to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And back deep is DJ Dallas. This is fielded at the 27. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why, why I wouldn't it? change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. They begin on the ground here with Connor, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 35, here's second and six. On the counter, it's Connor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly fit. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And the Washington offense heading out. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you 
You only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. They started on the ground with Eckler. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and nine. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. On the catch, it's Crowder. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. To throw is Daniels. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Murray. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Connor. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. Here's Blake Gillikin now. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Now it's Crowder. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive? were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. To the air goes Daniels. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. 
Operating from the gun, Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. The pick up there, five yards. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's Daniels. This one caught by Crowder. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing now is Daniels. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Seibert's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take punts you really don't want to do that in this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game so still time for the kickoff here one second to go in the half as this one is away taken at the goal line So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something 
to bring some life to your sideline. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give him a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On first and 10 is counter. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Murray going to throw. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Murray again. This is Connor. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third and five. Throwing now is Murray. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through, and that will cut the lead back down to three at 13-10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. It's complete to Brown. Right side. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive. And he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now second and three. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. Now Daniels. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board. Those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second down and six now. Looking to throw. Daniels. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Daniels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Got a man. It's Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to throw again. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And the commanders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. This is a counter play. Eckler, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of two there, second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. In motion goes McCaffrey. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16-10. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. After the made field goal, Seibert back out there to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. No gain on the play there. Second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Screen pass to Connor. Nifty move. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. to throw it's Murray that pass completed to Dorch and he goes out of bounds it looks like right at the 50 they'll wind up getting seven on the play from the gun a give to Connor and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. 
Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll try and run for it with counter. And he's gonna have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw is Murray. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Now second and five. Now a handoff coming left, Connor. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, well, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Benson going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Murray now. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Marvin Harrison, Jr., with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. 
I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels getting set for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Jamison Crowder, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. So Washington now with an important two-point conversion attempt. Daniel's going to try and throw for it. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. He yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray headed back out onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Murray now to throw. 
It's brought in by Wilson. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Here's Murray. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. That's pulled in by Wilson. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Got his man. It's Dorch. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's second down and three. To throw is Murray. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Here's first down. Now Murray. They'll roll him out right. And he fins him off. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Final 60 seconds as they face a second down. Murray to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Murray. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Got to give their offensive coordinator credit there. He got right into the head of the defensive coordinator because right on the heels of the sack on second down, he figured they were going to come at him hard again. And so he went ahead and hit him with a brilliant call. Screen pass works well enough. They're able to pick up a first down. That's one way to keep that defense at bay. Back to throw. Over the middle, he'll get it to Harrison. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Now first and goal. He'll look to throw to the back of the end zone, but too high over everybody and incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. 
Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And the Commanders have just about sewn up this football game. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because... You look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.